guys, and welcome back to Creative Glam. I'm so glad you stopped by. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sharon. Here on Creative Glam, I love to share videos on all things home, like seasonal home decor, high-end DIYs, cleaning and organizational videos, shopping hauls, food, and travel too. As I said, all things home. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on your notification bell to all so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I would also appreciate if you leave me a comment and make sure you hit that like button because this helps my channel to grow here on YouTube. In today's video, I'm going to share with you some high-end DIYs, trash to treasures. All the DIYs that you see today are items that I already owned. I am just going to upcycle, recycle, and turn my trash into treasure. These rose color vases, I thrifted them from the Goodwill some time ago. And I thought that today they are, oh, they're Teleflora bouquet vases that I thrifted from the Goodwill for $1.99 each. I'm gonna do a chalk paint technique on these to make them look a little more like vessels as, a, as opposed to Teleflora vases. And I've got some foam brushes here. I got this chalk paint from Hobby Lobby. That's where I've been picking up my um, chalk paint here lately. I used to always go to Joann Crafts, but um, I haven't been to Joann's in a while. It seems like um, Hobby Lobby has everything that I need, so I don't end up having to make another stop over at Joann's. But I'm gonna have to stop by there. I have to say I miss it. Now I'm gonna let these dry and I'll be back in a couple hours. Okay, they're both pretty dry. I like that chalk paint, it looks a lot like stone. But uh, let's finish up this paint technique. And this is like a brownie gray. This this cast this castle. Okay, guys, I'm all done with my paint technique. I like the way it turned out. In this DIY, I'm gonna DIY a homemade candle with the scent of lavender. I have some candle wax, and it is a blend of coconut and beeswax. I have some lavender and chamomile fragrance essential oils. I have some soy waxed wicks. I have a skewer. I have a mason jar and I have a pan to heat the wax up in. And I also have the uh, bottom, I also have the outside casing of a ballpoint pen. So let's make a candle. I'm heating up a pan of water, about a half a pan of water. And then I'm gonna take this container and add wax to it to create a double boiler and to melt the wax. Now I'm going to add the wick to the bottom of my mason jar. And I'm going to do that by adding a little hot glue to the bottom of this piece that the wick actually fits into. I'm going to feed it through there. Hey guys, let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. So I've got the candle wax pretty much melted down. I cut off enough wax that I thought would fill the mason jar. I just kind of eyeballed it and uh, it's ready. It's melted. Now I'm going to add the essential oils. I'm going to let it cool just a little bit and then I'll add it to the jar. And again, this is a fragrance essential oil, not just a, a regular essential oil, which means it has a little more, um, uh, it throws a little better. 
I'm gonna have a little more scent to it. I'm gonna let it cool off before I put it into the jar so that you don't get those sinkholes. That's why when you purchase a candle and you're burning it and a sinkhole comes into the, um, the center where the wick is, is because the candle wasn't poured properly. They didn't let the wax get to the proper temperature before they, trans uh, before they transferred it into the jar. It can cause sinkholes. So I've gotta let it cool off just a little and then we'll fill the jar. Should be cool enough to pour. I hope I eyeballed the right, the right amount. I hope I have the right amount. Now I wanna make sure I keep my wick in the center. That's why I have this stick, this skewer. Now I'm just gonna let it sit for about an hour to set up and then I'll trim the wick. Now I'm gonna cut the wick. I am going to put this in my bathroom and when I take my next bubble bath, guess what's gonna be a part of the lineup? My lavender, my homemade lavender and chamomile candle. In this DIY, I'm gonna make a wooden pedestal. I have a disc of uh, wood here that's gonna be my base. And then I have a thinner, um, almost like a veneer type wood that has a saying on it. This is pray more, worry less. I'm speaking to myself. And then I'm gonna use this as my base for the riser. And I'm gonna stain them in the color red mahogany. And I'm gonna wipe it off because I don't want it to be too dark, but I do want it to have a little color to it. Yeah, that's good. Ooh, the side is really soaking it up. I guess it really doesn't matter if I get it on the inside of there, does it? Yeah, that's good. I don't even have to put a second coat on this. It's like I said, I didn't want it to be much darker than this. This is pretty good for me. Okay, now they're all dry, or somewhat dry. I'm gonna be using a combination of Gorilla Glue and hot glue to get an instant set. I want this to stay permanently, so that's why I'm using the Gorilla Glue. And I wanna use a little bit of hot glue just for that instant bond. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. And I'm hoping that this video gave you tons of inspiration. Leave me a comment. Let me know which DIY you like best. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bells. I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. So hit that like button too. At the end of this video, you'll see two video links. Click one to see more home decor and DIYs by Creative Glam. And leave me a flower in your comment to let me know that you enjoyed this type of content and you made it all the way to the end. And with that being said, have a blessed day. And I'll see you right back 
here next time on Creative Glam. Bye!